Hello guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to our channel. This is Silhouette Effects Rotoscoping Masterclasses. In this video, I'll talk about the tracking based on Mocha. So let's get started. So guys, right now in Silhouette Effects, and thank you so very much for showing amazing response for our last three episodes. And this is based on tracking, but Mocha tracking. In this video, I'll talk about the Silhouette Effects by default installed of Mocha tracking and also the Mocha software, how you can use that. I hope this will have a lot of fun. So please do subscribe, watch this video completely and share as much as you can. All links are in the description box below. Go and check it out to find out all our social media handles. Okay, so here let's start with doing some rotoscoping here. So first of all, in the last episode, I talked about this point tracker and the planet tracker. So this is a Mocha tracker, which is almost similar to the Mocha software, but we have very less opportunities here to do some good rotoscoping. Scoping. So first of all, to know about Mocha tracking, you need to take a new layer because the Mocha tracking data information will be put on layer transform matrix. Okay, so it will not put on the specific shape or specific vertices and also it will obviously paste it on the layer. So you have to take a new layer each and every time. Then you have to go to any your specific frame range. Make sure the frame you're choosing that should be sharp and more visible. Then you can start tracking forward and also start doing track on the backward also. So here I'm doing the last frame and let me show you about this area what I have to do roto. Okay, so first of all, take a new layer, press B on your keyboard and then let's start drawing a shape, something like that so that you can exactly track on. So basically Mocha did a tracking based on the planner tracking process. Yes, it will exactly track the texture in it. So it will tag this area texture and also this area texture and including this amazing area texture as well. Now, if you really want to track on this area, do not make the shape like this much big. So it will track this area unnecessary. So just make the shape just like this. Okay, so it will track on this much area. That's it. Now you have to just go back to your tracking information here. Here you can find these options like backward track, backward play track, forward and forward frame by frame. Translation, scale, rotation, sphere and the perspective. Now for the production level training, uh, most of the time we are just turned off the perspective one because when you turn this perspective one, the shape will be distorted. But when the really perspective changes are happening on the footage, you really need to turn on this perspective option. And the share option, you can just turn it on. And after that, where you can find this minimum pixel use, turn this off and make Make sure always it will be 100%. That's most important part because the tracking information will be coming more accurate. Now horizontal and vertical uh, by default it will off. So make it just like this. Do not change anything. The angle and zoom. Remove flicker. If you turn on the remove flicker and then you start tracking, the track will not happening. So turn this off and then you do the remove flickers and all. Same thing preview as well. The, in the last planner and point tracker, both are exactly same here also. You can increase the blur sharpness and all. So just turn this off. And this area is also exactly same. So guys, right now I'm doing frame by frame animation of tracking because as I told my last video that if you do frame by frame, the tracking will be coming more accurate. So just have to do some tracking. Just click, click, click and it will start doing some tracking stuffs and all. But if you notice the hands are coming behind of the backside. So it will track here until uh, this area is pretty well, 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 good, good, good. And when the hand is coming up here, if you notice the shape will now go back like this. So it means like the hand is distorting the shape exactly. I'll show you how you can fix that. It will not fix here, it will fix on the Mocha software. So first of all, let me show you that how you can exactly make Roto on this much area. So first of all, just delete the shape or else you can just manage the shapes as well. So I'm just delete the shape and I'll just redraw a shape, a more like precise shapes and all. Here we are not turning on the motion blur. If you turn on the motion blur, the output will come more good. So I'm just making a shape just like this and try to avoid uh, like uh, many vertices. So if, if you notice this area is in uh, like motion blurs and all. So I am not turning on motion blur because the motion blur module will be the next one. So just press T on your keyboard and just when you stabilize this one, just make the stabilize active layer. If you go here like this, you can see this is tracked pretty well, but few areas it's coming just like this. So what you have to do, you have to check this area, something like this area is going it's out. So just press T, Alt and just distort it. So first of all, try to add a distortion. Then you can change the vertices if unless until it will not adjusting properly, then you can change the vertices just like this. Okay. So what happened uh, this area to this area, the area is completely tracked pretty well. So you have 34 frames to 50 frames. Uh, rotoscoping is done. This is the tracking magic. So if you just go back here, if the shape is going inside, so just press Alt, hold and just distort the shape. 
just like this. So this is the way you can exactly do the precise rotoscoping here. So first of all, in the beginner step, you have to some confusions, but uh, after some, like if you do some regular basis practice, it will become some pro. Okay, so just make it here like this. So we are not turning on the motion blur, so that's why don't worry about this ages. Uh, if you turn on the motion blur, it will become fixed. So just like this. So I'll show you this uh, output is coming like this pretty well so this area is tracked well but what about this area okay so for this we have to jump to mocha so here we are right now in mocha the newer version when you open this mocha it will completely look like this so first of all just turn off the show next time or whatever just press start here so it will find out this user interface which is pretty cool because the new mocha they have increased a more amazing updates here so first of all you have to import the footage from file new project and you can find out this option here where you can find this import clip so just choose your preference location to import the clip so I'm just choosing my this area so just press open here and now you can find the name you can change your name anything what you want to use location now if you notice this is automatically come like first frame this is the last frame frame rate resolutions and all viewers if you want the multiple project then you can in multi view project just turn it on then it will automatically left and right this is exactly for stereo and then the colors and advanced just let it be like this okay when you're happy with your, all the settings you just turn on this ok button so this is output here so first of all just play for once to make it buffer because each and every software have their own buffer cache process so you have to go through with this 50 frames buffer here before doing anything or else it will take some time for track okay so that uh, buffer is completely done so now what you have to do you have to do this area fix so we are not doing this area rotoscoping unnecessary so what I'll do I'll just subtract the hand with this body so that the track will not hamper so how you can do that just go to the first frame here so first of all the short Shortcuts of the zoom is like press Z and the left click and you can zoom in like this okay and the middle mouse to move the footage here okay so I'm just taking here from this X spline here and I'm making a shape just like this to make a uh, like this this is not like a precise shape you just have to make it very roughly so because we are subtracting here so just make the shapes here just like this and or else you can just do some tracking here so what I'll do I'll just press this track forward option like track next frame so that it will see it will track the next frame here and the next 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 because we want to track it uh, so just adjust the shapes here a bit like this and make sure the shape is actually like cover the entire hand here so just make forward 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 and obviously have to make shape the positions properly and this is the main part because we are subtracting the hand so just make it something like that and one two three four when you're happy with the subtraction on the next frame select it and the next frame just move here and put it outside of the window that's it so this is the subtraction is right now done so what happened when the this frame if you make a shape here just take a x spline so first of all rename this one so just double click here and make it to subtraction and first of all you have to take another shape just like this so i'm just making a shape here but it's just like this okay so i have to track this shape uh, like on the backward area so if you notice this area is up the of the layer okay so just make drag and drop under this layer okay so it means this layer subtract with this one okay so now what happened select the layer turn this option here so this is not like applicable here select this layer and go backtrack one two three and four now what happened exactly i'll show you this one just so if you open the match option this is visible here and when you go back here see this area is getting subtracted with this one so if you turn off the shape see this area is subtracted so if you increase this to one so you can exactly see this area is getting subtracted and the track is not hampering as well so just turn it on and track back track back see the track is still over there so the, this area is here until so the track so it just increase it a bit here like this and then track back see this is pretty well so how you can export the tracking data so first of all delete this subtraction because we don't need this right now select this layer and obviously you have to go to the first frame where you want to just start the track and then you just click this export track here where you can find this option called uh, like rg wrap this one and this one after that you have to just press the save button okay when you press the save button it just want their locations and just the format should be like .txt and then just press save here that's it now here I just want to talk about few settings if you notice that the same translation scale rotation and same like in silver effects minimal pixel use you can obviously use it to 100% and rest of the options are exactly same so when you jump into silver effects back and how you can import those tracks I'll show you just first of all delete this layer and we have to go back to this track 
and here we have to import the tracks okay so first of all go back to your point tracker select the import and you have to find out on your desktop this render.txt which is our mocha tracking information press open so now we can find out these trackers are coming up here now take a new layer select all this here and you have to just press apply same process like four point tracking press ok now select the layer and you have to go on your specific frame where you want to just do the track and press b and make the shape just like this and when you check it's exactly tracked pretty nice guys so i hope you really understand what i'm trying to show you on this mocha tracking video so please keep updated by follow us on our social media handles and if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel vfx world and guys see you next time with some more amazing content till then have fun stay home bye bye